Welcome to my 10-part series that covers the new features of Revit 2015 Release 2. I'm counting down from 10. This is video number 1, Adapting Two Adaptive Points. Adaptive points have been around for a while, but the ability to divide and repeat has rapidly increased the use of adaptive points. For that reason, I want to single this feature out in this final video. However, the actual update can be covered in one sentence. The adaptive point instance parameter orientation is now Orients2, and the available options have been renamed. So I apologize if you got your hopes up, but there is still a lot to this update. When you select an adaptive point, you can see the Orients2 parameter in the Properties palette. Expand the drop-down to see the available options. Essentially, the options are a combination of three coordinate systems, Global, Host, and Instance. The Global Coordinate System is the system of the environment in which the Adaptive Family Instance is placed. In other words, either the Family or Project Coordinate System. The Host Coordinate System is the system of an element on which the Adaptive Point of an Instance is placed. The Adaptive Point does not necessarily have to be hosted, though. Lastly, the Instance Coordinate System is the system of the Adaptive Family Instance. Now that you understand that, let's break down each option. I have created a surface and a panel family for each option to apply to the surface. I created a complex surface so that there would be many curves. I also divided the surface. The panel family is very simple. I started with the generic model pattern-based.rft family template. Next, I created four reference points offset vertically from the adaptive points and created model lines vertically between them. In order to see how each option affects the model lines, I have loaded all six pattern families into the family with the surface. Now I'll change the pattern applied to the divided surface to see the differences. Host XYZ is simply the host coordinate system. Global XYZ is the global coordinate system. And Instance XYZ is the instance coordinate system. Host and Loop System XYZ is the host coordinate system. However, this option applies to instances where the adaptive family has at least three points forming a loop. If the placed adaptive points of a component are placed in a different order with respect to the host order, then the z-axis will invert, and the planar projection will change. For example, if the points are placed clockwise instead of counterclockwise. So for this example, it's the same as host XYZ. Global Z, then host XY, is the z-axis of the global coordinate system, and then the x and y axes of the host coordinate system. And finally, instance Z, then host XY, is the Z axis of the instance coordinate system and the X and Y axes of the host coordinate system. This is just a simple example and still somewhat hard to see what's going on. So I encourage you to try to recreate this example to see it for yourself.